Topsy was a female Asian elephant put to death at a Coney Island, New York amusement park by electrocution in January 1903. Born in Southeast Asia around 1875, Topsy was secretly brought into the United States soon thereafter and added to the herd of performing elephants at the Four Path Circus, who fraudulently advertised her as the first elephant born in America. During her 25 years at Four Path, Topsy gained a reputation as a bad elephant and, after killing a spectator in 1902, was sold to Coney Island Sea Lion Park. When Sea Lion was leased out at the end of the 1902 season and redeveloped into Luna Park Topsy was involved in several well-publicized incidents, attributed to the actions of either her drunken handler or the park's new publicity-hungry owners, Frederick Thompson and Elmer Dundee. Their end-of-the-year plans to hang Topsy at the park in a public spectacle and charge admission were stopped by the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. The event was cut back to invited guests and press only and Thompson and Dundee agreed to use a more sure method of strangling the elephant with large ropes tied to a steam-powered winch with poison and electrocution planned for good measure. On January 4, 1903 in front of a small crowd of invited reporters and guests Topsy was fed poison, electrocuted, and strangled, the electrocution ultimately killing her. Amongst the press that day was a crew from the Edison Manufacturing Movie Company who filmed the event. Their film of the electrocution part was released to be viewed in coin-operated kinetoscopes under the title Electrocuting an Elephant. The story of Topsy fell into obscurity for the next 70 years but has become more prominent in popular culture, partly due to the fact that the film of the event still exists. In popular culture Thompson and Dundee's killing of Topsy has switched attribution, with claims it was an anti-alternating current demonstration organized by Thomas A. Edison during the War of Currents. Historians point out that Edison was never at Luna Park and the electrocution of Topsy took place ten years after the War of Currents. Life. Equals four path circus equals. Topsy was born in the wild around 1875 in Southeast Asia and was captured soon after by elephant traders. Adam Forpuff, owner of the Forpuff Circus, had the elephant secretly smuggled into the United States with plans that he would advertise the baby as the first elephant born in America. At the time Forpuff Circus was in competition with the Barnum and Bailey Circus over who had the most and biggest elephants. The name Topsy came from a slave girl character in Uncle Tom's cabin. Forpath announced to the press in February 1877 that his circus now boasted the only baby elephant ever born on American soil. The elephant trader who sold Topsy to Forpath also sold elephants to P.T. Barnum and tipped Barnum off about the deception. Barnum exposed the hoax publicly and Forpath stopped claiming that Topsy was born in America, only advertising that she was the first elephant born outside a tropical zone. At maturity, Topsy was 10 feet high. 20 feet long, with claims she weighed between 4 and 6 tons. Over the years, Topsy gained a reputation as a bad elephant. In 1902 another event brought her again to prominence, the killing of spectator James Field and Blunt in Brooklyn, New York at what was then the Fallpuff and Sells Brothers Circus. Accounts vary as to what happened but the common story is that on the morning of May 27, 1902, a possibly drunk Blunt wandered into the menagerie tent where all the elephants were tied in a line and began teasing them in turn, offering them a bottle of whiskey. He reportedly threw sand in Topsy's face and then burned the extremely sensitive tip of her trunk with a litre cigar. Topsy threw Blunt to the ground with her trunk and then crushed him with her head, knees, or foot. Newspaper reports on Blunt's death contained what seemed to be exaggerated accounts of Topsy's man-killing past with claims that she killed up to 12 men, but with more common accounts that, during the 1900 season, she had killed two Fallpath and Sells Brothers circus workers, one in Paris, Texas and one in Waco, Texas. Journalist Michael Daly, in his 2013 book on Topsy, could find no record of anyone being killed by an elephant in Waco, and a handler attacked by Topsy in Paris suffered injuries but there is no record of him dying. The publicity generated by Topsy's man killing brought very large crowds to the circus to see the elephant. In June 1902, during the unloading of Topsy from a train in Kingston, New York, a spectator named Louis Dodaro used a stick in his hand to tickle Topsy behind the ear. 
Topsy seized Dodero around the waist with her trunk, hoisted him high in the air and threw him back down before being stopped by a handler. Because of this attack the owners of Fullpuff and Cell Circus decided to sell Topsy. Equals Sea Lion and Luna Park equals, Topsy was sold in June 1902 to Paul Boyton, owner of Coney Island Sea Lion Park, and added to the menagerie of animals on display there. The elephant's handler from Fullpuff, William White E. Alt, came along with Topsy to work at the park. A bad summer season and competition with a nearby steeplechase park made Boyton decide to get out of the amusement park business. At the end of the year he leased Sea Lion Park to Frederick Thompson and Elmer Dundee who proceeded to redevelop it into a much larger attraction and renamed it Luna Park. Topsy was used in publicity, moving timbers and even the fanciful airship Luna, part of the amusement ride A Trip to the Moon, from Steeplechase to Luna Park, characterized in the media as penance for her rampaging ways. During the moving of the Luna in October 1902, Handler William Alt was involved in an incident where he stabbed Topsy with a pitchfork trying to get her to pull the amusement ride. When confronted by a police officer, Alt turned Topsy loose from her work harness to run free in the streets, leading to Alt's arrest. The occurrence was attributed to the handler's drinking. In December 1902 a drunk Alt rode Topsy down the town streets of Coney Island and walked, or tried to ride Topsy, into the local police station. Accounts say Topsy tried to batter her way through the station door and she set up a terrific trumpeting, leading the officers to take refuge in the cells. The handler was fired after the incident. Equals death equals. Without all to handle Topsy, the owners of Luna Park, Frederick Thompson and Elmer Dundee, claimed they could no longer handle the elephant and tried to get rid of her, but they could not even give her away and no other circus or zoo would take her. On December 13, 1902 Luna Park press agent Charles Murray released a statement to the newspapers that Topsy would be euthanized within a few days by electrocution. At least one local paper noted that the steady drone of events and reports regarding Topsy from the park had the hallmarks of a publicity campaign designed to get the new park continually mentioned in the papers. On January 1, 1903 Thompson and Dundee announced plans to conduct a public hanging of the elephant set for January 3rd or 4th, and collected 25 cents ahead admission to see the spectacle. The site they chose was an island in the middle of the lagoon for the old shoot the shoot ride where they were building the centerpiece of their new park, the 200-foot electric tower. Press agent Murray arranged media coverage and posted banners around the park and on all four sides of the makeshift gallows advertising opening May 2, 1903 Luna Park $1 million exposition, the heart of Coney Island. On hearing Thompson and Dundee's plans the president of the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, John Peter Haynes, stepped in and forbade hanging as a needlessly cruel means of killing, Topsy, and also told Thompson and Dundee they could not conduct a public spectacle and charge admission. Thompson and Dundee discussed alternatives with Haynes, going over methods used in previous attempts to euthanize elephants including poisoning, but that, as well a 1901 attempt to electrocute an elephant named Jumbo II two years earlier in Buffalo, New York, were botched. After much negotiation, which included Thompson and Dundee trying to give the elephant to the ASPCA, a method of strangling the elephant with large ropes tied to a steam-powered winch was agreed upon. They also agreed they would use poisoning and electricity as well. The date of Topsy's demise was finally set for Sunday, January 4, 1903. The press attention the event had received brought out an estimated 1,500 spectators and 100 press photographers as well as agents from the ASPCA to inspect the proceedings. Thompson and Dundee allowed 100 spectators into the park although more climbed through the park fence. Many more were on the balconies and roofs of nearby buildings, which were charging admission to see the event. The electric tower had been re-rigged with large ropes set up to strangle the elephant, which were inspected by the ASPCA agents to make sure they conformed to what had been agreed. The details of the electrocution part of the euthanization were handled by workers from the local power company, Edison Electric Illuminating Company of Brooklyn, under the supervision of Chief Electrician P. D. Sharkey. 
they spent the night before stringing power lines from the Coney Island Electrical Substation nine blocks to the park to carry alternating current they planned to redirect from a much larger plant in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. At Bay Ridge the staff was told to get an engine ready and clear a feeder and bus to Coney Island Station. Topsy was led out of her pen into the unfinished Lunar Park by Carl Goliath, an expert on elephants who formerly worked for animal showman Carl Hagenbeck. Newspaper accounts of the events noted that Topsy refused to cross the bridge over the lagoon, ignoring prodding by Goliath and even bribes of carrots and apples. The owners of Luna Park then tried to get William Walt, who would not watch the killing, to lead Topsy across the bridge, but he declined an offer of $25 to coax her to her death saying he would a euro owe it for $1,000 a euro. They finally gave up trying to get Topsy across the bridge and decided to bring death to her. The steam engine, ropes, and the electrical lines were re-rigged to the spot where Topsy stood. The electricians attached copper line sandals connected to AC lines to Topsy's right forefoot and left hind foot so the charge would flow through the elephant's body. With Chief Electrician Sharkey making sure everyone was clear, Topsy was fed carrots laced with 460 grams of potassium cyanide by press agent Charles Murray who then backed away. At 2.45 p.m. Sharkey gave a signal and an electrician on a telephone told the superintendent Coney Island Station nine blocks away to close a switch and Luna Park chief electrician Hugh Thomas closed another one at the park, sending 6,600 volts from Bay Ridge across Topsy's body for 10 seconds, toppling her to the ground. According to at least one contemporary account, she died without a trumpet or a groan. After Topsy fell, the steam-powered winch tightened two nooses placed around her neck for ten minutes. At 2.47, Topsy was pronounced dead. An ASPCA official and two veterinarians employed by Thompson and Dundee determined that the electric shock had killed Topsy. During the killing the superintendent of the Coney Island station, Joseph Johansson, became mixed up in the apparatus, when he threw the switch sending power to the park and was nearly electrocuted. He was knocked out and left with small burns from the power traveling from his right arm to his left leg. In popular culture, equals electrocuting an elephant equals. Amongst the press the day Topsy was euthanized was a film crew from the Edison Film Company, possibly directed by Edwin S. Porter or Jacob Blair Smith. A film they created of the death of Topsy was 74 seconds long and shows just the electrocution. It was released to be added to the lineup of films viewable in Edison kinetoscopes within a few weeks under the title Electrocuting an Elephant. This was one of many short actuality films shot by the Edison Manufacturing Company from 1897 onwards at Coney Island depicting rides, bathing scenes, diving horses, and even a film of elephants in 1903 shooting the shoots at Luna Park. The Edison Company submitted the film to the Library of Congress as a paper print for copyright purposes. This form of submission may have saved the film for posterity since most films and negatives of this period decayed or were destroyed over time. Equals media and culture equals, electrocuting an elephant does not seem to have been as popular as other Edison films, and could not even be viewed at Luna Park because the attraction did not have the coin-operated kinetoscopes needed to view it. The film and Topsy's story fell into relative obscurity in the intervening years showing up as an out-of-context clip in the 1979 film Mr. Mike's Mondo Video. In 1991 documentary maker Rick Burns made the film Coney Island which included a segment recounting the death of Topsy, including clips from the film Electrocuting an Elephant. In 1999 Topsy was commemorated in the Coney Island Mermaid Parade and a parade float by artist Gavin Heck. In 2003 Heck and a local arts group held a competition to select a memorial arts piece to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Topsy's death. The chosen piece, created by New Orleans artist Lee Diergaard and exhibited at the Coney Island USA Museum, allowed the public to view electrocuting an elephant on a hand-cranked mutoscope while surrounded by hanging chains and standing on a copper plate. In recent years portions of Electrocuting an Elephant have also appeared in movies, music videos, TV shows, and video games. The theme of Topsy's electrocution also appears in songs, in the plotline of several novels, 
and in poems such as U.S. Poet Laureate W.S. Merwin's The Chain to Her Leg. Equals association with Thomas Edison equals. In popular culture Topsy is portrayed as the elephant that was electrocuted in a public demonstration organized by Thomas Edison during the War of Currents to show the dangers of alternating current. Examples of this view include a 2008 Wide magazine article titled Edison Fries an Elephant to Prove His Point, and a 2013 episode of the animated comedy series Bob's Burgers titled Topsy. The inventor had been involved with the electrocution of animals 15 years earlier during the War of Currents, trying to demonstrate the dangers of alternating current, but the event surrounding Topsy took place 10 years after the end of the war. At the time of Topsy's death Edison was no longer involved in the electric lighting business. He had been forced out of control of his company with its 1892 merger into General Electric and sold all his stock and GE during the 1890s to finance an iron ore refining venture. The Brooklyn company that still bore his name mentioned in newspaper reports was a privately owned power company no longer associated with his earlier Edison Illuminating Company. Edison himself was not present at Luna Park and it is unclear as to the input he had in Topsy's death or even its filming since the Edison Manufacturing Film Company made 1200 short films during that period with little guidance from Edison as to what they filmed. Journalist Michael Daly, in his 2013 book on Topsy, surmises how Edison would have been pleased that a proper method of positioning of the copper plates was used and that the elephant was killed by the large Westinghouse AC generators at Bay Ridge but he shows no actual contact or communication between the owners of Luna Park and Edison over Topsy. Two things that may have indelibly linked Thomas Edison with Topsy's death were the primary newspaper sources describing it as being carried out by electricians of the Edison Companion Euro, and the fact that the film of the event was credited on screen to Thomas A. Edison. See also, List of Individual Elephants, Shooting an Elephant, Other Circus Elephant Executions Deaths. Shuni a Euro Circus Elephant shot to death in 1826, Mary a Euro Circus Elephant executed by hanging in 1916, Tyke a Euro Circus Elephant who escaped in Honolulu, Hawaii, in 1994. References External links, Electrocuting an Elephant at the Internet Movie Database, Rutgers University, The Edison Papers, Mythbuster Topsy the Elephant, Topsy the Elephant an online collection, Contemporaneous newspaper accounts, Coney Elephant Killed, Topsy Overcome with Cyanide of Potassium and Electricity, New York Times, January 5, 1903, Topsy, the rogue elephant, was electrocuted, poisoned and hanged Street Louis Republic, January 11, 1903, 6600 volts killed Topsy, the Sun, January 5, 1903, page 1, Bad Elephant Dies by Shock. Electricity Kills Topsy at Coney Island, New York Press, January 5, 1903, Topsy. An Elephant, Executed at Coney Island, New York Herald, January 5, 1903.